on the break. I'm gonna, you know what? I, I knew it was that vibe when I met her, when I met her. I knew it was that vibe. She didn't know like it was that every, vibe, but I knew it was. That means it's punk rock. It's her I knew, rock music. I, I knew from the fit today. Like, you came, you knew the assignment. Like, yes. We, are you, we, we met. She's a fashion fucking junkie. I know that. She's a fashion I'm not, a I'm not even junkie. a fashion junkie. You are. You, yeah, you, so? are. you don't even know that you're a fashion junkie. That's no, why you're a no, fashion junkie. No, no. <laughs> my mom and my sisters are fashion junkies. I'm not a fashion junkie. You know, they be like, I have looks in case you want looks. Okay, I have this one and that one. This, uh, this is already, I've already seen three ones. I'm looking at your page, I've seen a few. On person, I've already seen two different looks. You gave me, okay, girly girl classic. Now you're giving me punk rock. I will fuck you up. <laughs> vibes. Vibes on vibes. What do you mean? And you already know, mom, big up yourself, ma. Big up yourself. Yeah. Ma, so I take my wig off, my toenail, all that to you, okay? Because you are fire when it comes to clothing design and doing what you're doing. Ma, yes. you are fucking amazing. Okay, part of my French, ma, but... Mm. Okay? Yeah. When they say the sugar honey iced tea, girl, that's you. Okay? Don't let me tell you any different. Right. Your mom, show, her this, yeah. show her this, okay? Yeah. You show mom this and tell her what I said. Ma did that okay mm. keep doing your thing yeah. and i love it and you Thank are you. Because um, you know what the thing is this is i like to keep those pieces uh because of course i don't get them as often as you might get store-bought stuff you know so um but i knew that i was coming to punch dollars event shout out to punch dollars punch dollar big up yourself yeah. always bro and i knew i was coming to his event and i knew that it was a fashion a situation so i didn't want to um let you guys down and it was like last minute i was supposed to go get it taken up and there, and you guys i mean it was a little baggy but it worked it, it made sense girl <laughs> thank you miss 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 set yo listen yo oh, listen oh. <laughs> When you walked up the stairs, I was like, Southside. Who's Southside? You see Yo, how I'm like, in? I was like, whoa. Almost passed out and got back up and it died again. It got hot flashes and all. Oh, I couldn't yeah. wait to come up. He was like, she's an artist. I was like, mm, I know. Her fashion <laughs> and saying what it's saying. Like I tell and me and um, Future Fanboy were just fashion and um, music just goes hand to hand. It fucking and, does. And you and you, and I realized that like for you, you might be saying like, oh, you're this fashion, but then you might talk to my mom and she might be like, she don't have no fun. So, I mean, like I don't have you know for, for the levels that she you know. So I mean, but it's it's definitely expression. That's why I'm gonna uh, be yourself. Is the record that I was talking about earlier? Um, it's just like just what makes you feel good. Like tonight, I'm comfortable. Tell me about your creative process with making music. Like when you're in the studio, do you write your own songs? Yeah. Okay. And you know what? It's funny you say that because like as an independent artist, like people, when, because uh, you don't um, blow overnight or when someone may expect you to or whatever, you know, uh, it makes you other people or yourself or whoever question like your ability to make great music. And... Um, I was in the studio because uh, uh, Future Family who did the Red, uh, I'm drinking rum and Red Bull. Okay, and exactly. Which he's he's a hit maker and he's a uh, like a ghostwriter. He's like you know, and he was with me. He's like, yo, I don't need no. Uh, he was like, you're one of the. Uh, we were having a session. He's like, yo, you're one of the greatest, um, like like best writers I know. Just on a side note, and that made me feel good because he has hits, you know what I'm saying? So it was just like, you know, so yeah, writing motivation, yeah, motivation. Even though, like, I did say, like, if somebody comes to me with a hit to perform it, I mean, I am a show girl at heart. Maybe I would if it makes sense. I might move around the words, I don't know. I haven't done that before, but um, right now, I'm kind of where I'm, I'm where I'm at right now, I'm a little open. I love it. I said I love your music, and I think that even if someone wrote something for you with fire, you would still own it as your own. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like even I, yeah, I mean, yeah. To no, just yeah, perform, just... perform. I would fix it up too, because I don't think I could take something. Because I've been, I, and, and that was something I fought with, with for years. Like, because being a writer is and thinking you just like you know my pen and pad is very important to me so and i say as it should and i and i love that you are confident in what you write because some people are very judgmental on yourself yeah. and they look for validation a lot in other people if they don't say that it's hot and they're like okay i don't like this song no but don't get it twisted because i'm my biggest critic like the killing me baby record you heard that's from the keisha project that was done in the pandemic and it's like i did that project and i was like yo um, cause prior to that, like we were talking about the EDM project, I did it like a, 
EDM kind of um, pop music kind of vibe, right? And it's like, I really uh, didn't understand. I, I've been to a, a, their club before, but I didn't understand the music when it came down to like writing. I, I don't know if you really understand it. So I did it, and I had opinions, people pulling me left and right. But when I did it, like I like I like the project, but I feel like I, I'm gonna do another one just because I don't feel like I I know what to do now. Let's say that now I know what to do. So uh, with you can Keisha, put all your input that you wanted to into it. Yeah, and and do what I know what's what is what's gonna be booming. And then with the so then when I came up with the Keisha project, it was like I just it's it's the Keisha project is it is on like on Pandora and Spotify, but it's like a, a, a mixtape kind of vibe. Okay, you know.